Good Monday evening, everyone. Glad to get join us again tonight. I'm Nick Toma. Candace Kelly has the evening off. New details emerging now in the death of a 17 year old Hazleton area high school student. Cassidy Matalevich was shot to death inside of her Butler Township home early Saturday. State police have charged 17 year old Alan Myers with criminal homicide in her death. Eyewitness News I team reporter Andy Mahalshik has been working this story. He joins us live in the studio with the latest on the investigation. Andy. Well, Nick, this is the arrest affidavit. It sheds some light on what state troopers say happened before and after the homicide of Cassidy Manilevich. It details how Myers allegedly tried to avoid being arrested. It was so special. And I love her. And we love her. And we will forever remember her. Amazing grace. Family and friends of 17 year old Cassidy Madlevich came together Sunday night for a candlelight vigil to remember her and to celebrate her life. State police say she was shot and killed by 17 year old Alan Myers inside her home on Sand Hollow Drive in Butler Township early Saturday morning. He is now charged with criminal homicide in her death. According to an arrest affidavit, Myers went to the Madlevich home at around 3 a.m. Saturday. At around 5 a.m., Madlevich's mother heard a pop. When she went into her daughter's bedroom, her daughter had a gunshot wound to the head. Myers, according to court papers, fled the scene. According to that same affidavit, a 16-year-old juvenile who was also in the Madlevich home at the time of the shooting told state troopers she too heard a pop and then heard Madlevich's mother scream. That juvenile says that Cassidy Madlevich brought Myers into the home between 3 and 4 a.m. that morning. Madlevich was pronounced dead at Lehigh Valley Hazelton after 6 a.m. that day. The criminal complaint also details how Myers allegedly went to the home of a female juvenile shortly after that shooting and allegedly told her that Madlevich ended up on the ground bleeding, that he did not know what happened or whether she was still alive. The criminal complaint also details how Myers parked his car, a gray BMW, in their garage and then went for a ride with that female juvenile and an adult from that same home. And at some point, they dropped him off at the Dorrance Rest Area on Interstate 81 North. State troopers later stopped the vehicle. During that stop, Myers allegedly called the female juvenile. A state trooper actually talked with Myers, who told him, he could be found at the rest area sitting on a picnic table. He was then taken into custody. Med Levage was a cheerleader and about to start her senior year at Hazelton Area High School. The superintendent of schools issued this statement. The Hazelton Area School District is devastated by the loss of one of our students. I cannot adequately express in words the giant hole that is left by losing a student. Grief counselors have been available for students and staff today. Now, the arrest affidavit also says that Myers and Matt Levitch may have been arguing over Myers' relationship with another juvenile female. The court documents allege that Myers also got a haircut Saturday morning in an attempt to disguise his identity. Now, Eyewitness News has also confirmed that Myers is under investigation in connection with another alleged incident involving another female juvenile on the day of the murder. State police will only say that incident is under investigation. Nick? A lot of new information tonight. Andy, thank you.